There's a fruit that reveals your glucose levels, blood sugar status, and if diabetes is out of control. In this video, I'll explain about fruits, a specific one for diabetes control and assessing glucose levels. I'll share five truths about diabetes that are often mistaken for lies on the internet. When I discuss fruits and diabetes, I get many concerning comments. This can affect your risk of complications like stroke, kidney disease, or heart attack. So pay close attention because you need to know this information. There are five truths, and in the last one, I'll reveal the fruit and how to tell if diabetes is uncontrolled. Well, the first truth is that type 2 diabetes can indeed be reversed. What you often find online, even in some forums or videos by non-specialist doctors, is that once diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, there's not much you can do except take medication and manage the disease. But in reality, we know that for many cases of type 2 diabetes, what's the root cause? It's often a sedentary lifestyle and an unbalanced diet high in sugar and unhealthy fats. Genetics play a role, but eating habits and lifestyle greatly influence the condition. If your blood sugar is high due to these factors, often when we address these risks, Diabetes can be reversed. There are several terms for this. I'll give you the American Diabetes Association's definition, but many people call it a diabetes cure. I'm not fond of that word. Why? Why isn't it more appropriate? Because cure implies an infection you caught and healed from. With diabetes, you need constant management. Even if you normalize blood sugar, ongoing control is necessary. There's also remission which relates more to autoimmune diseases. People with those conditions say, the disease is in remission. It's dormant, so to speak. But reversal, yes. What's the criterion for reversal? Maintaining blood sugar and A1C levels below 6.5 for over three months after stopping medication. That's reversal. It's not just about good levels while taking multiple medications. Medical evaluation is needed to gradually reduce meds as blood sugar improves. But yes, reversal is possible. The idea that diabetes always leads to complications is widespread online. There's a lack of info, and type 1 diabetes differs from type 2's causes. The body produces antibodies attacking insulin-producing pancreatic cells. This condition is irreversible, requiring lifelong treatment and monitoring. Type 1 diabetes can be reversed, okay? Because it's an autoimmune disease. In this case, insulin would be necessary, all right? Because the body no longer produces insulin unlike type 2 diabetes, which is insulin resistance. You produce too much insulin, but your body can't use it effectively. Got it? That's the first truth. This will cheer up many people, I know. Oh, they'll be happy. Oh, is that true? Because yes, in many cases, you can reverse these risk factors. Some cases are advanced with people already using insulin for type 2 diabetes. It's harder then, but control is still possible. What's the second truth? The second truth is that diabetics can't eat carbs. I don't know who said that, but it's widely spread on the internet. People share this a lot. And why isn't this true? First, you saw that diabetes doesn't come from sweets. Type 2 diabetes is about lifestyle. Look, sure, eating lots of sweets is a factor, but you won't become diabetic just from having a candy, soda, or sugary juice. It's not because of that your routine doing things, quote unquote, that aren't appropriate. Also, in type 1 diabetes, we've seen it's autoimmune with no relation to sweet consumption. But where did this idea that diabetics can't eat sweets come from? In the short term, eating carbs can spike your blood sugar more than fats or proteins. But the key here is balance. We can eat carbs and a healthy diet can include energy-rich carbs. The issue is excess, okay? So the idea that sweets or carbs will worsen your diabetes is false. What really worsens is excess carbs. I see this often when talking to diabetics. They consume too many sweets, add sugar to coffee, eat cake, pasta with rice and potatoes. These dietary mistakes become routine. We need moderation, but if you're diabetic and in control, some can be part of your diet. A balanced diet with good diabetes management. Now, myth number three is widespread. I'll tell you the myth first, then the truth, okay? The myth is that type 2 diabetes meds are addictive, creating tolerance, so you'll always need more. Got it? Why is this idea so common? If you have type 2 or even type 1 diabetes and don't control the factors that led to it, 
the disease tends to progress naturally and you'll continue with that underlying cause. So yes, it's common for people to start with one metformin pill, then two in three months, then three, then four. Soon they're adding another med and before you know it, they're on three or four different drugs to control diabetes. But it's not the meds increasing glucose, it's the disease progressing if you're not managing it properly. So the idea that diabetes meds are addictive, cause tolerance or lead to insulin use is a big myth, okay? No need to worry. And yes, I'm not against medications. If prescribed correctly, they can be beneficial. But remember that diabetes control also depends on you. You need to understand how the disease works to avoid what I mentioned, right? Adding more medications isn't the answer. It's more about habits and lifestyle changes than just relying on medicine, agreed? The fourth myth is that if you don't have symptoms, your diabetes is under control. Why is this a myth? Let me explain. Often when blood sugar levels are slightly elevated, your body won't show the typical signs and symptoms you associate with high blood sugar. Extreme thirst, frequent urination, and sweet urine attracting ants in the bathroom. Other symptoms include weight loss, fatigue, bad breath, poor sleep, and constant tiredness. These symptoms occur with very high blood sugar. Slight increases, which can still harm your heart, may not show these signs. You might have non-specific signs like more skin or urinary infections or digestive changes. Some signs are vague and can't be identified by symptoms alone. Remember, over half of type 2 diabetics show no signs at diagnosis. That's why it's crucial to get regular screenings for type 2 diabetes. If you're diabetic, Make sure to get follow-up exams regularly. These tests are usually done every three months to check glycated hemoglobin. What's that? It's the average blood sugar level over the past 90 days. Got it? Relying on symptoms can be misleading and hinder treatment, increasing risks. Screening tests are absolutely essential. You've probably seen those stats on TV or in commercials. Millions of diabetics don't even know they have the disease. Statistically, many people don't get tested and they're diabetic. Now, number five, which fruit can reveal if diabetes is out of control or if your glucose is rising too much? Let's understand this. I'll explain why, but first, I want to ask if you're enjoying this video. If so, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my posts. I made a specific video about fruits and diabetes. Many commented, if I eat this fruit, my glucose spikes. This fruit isn't good for diabetes or my diabetes will worsen with this fruit. What's happening here? There are fruits that are excellent for diabetics. Despite the myth that diabetics can't eat fruit due to fructose raising blood sugar, this is actually false. If you're diabetic or monitoring your blood sugar, eating fruits with a low glycemic index won't cause sugar spikes. These fruits, which I'll mention, have few carbs. If your levels still rise, something's wrong. So which fruits won't cause these blood sugar spikes? What exactly is considered a blood sugar spike? Two hours later, check your blood sugar with a glucometer. This device goes by different names worldwide, but it's that small gadget used to measure blood glucose levels. If after eating low carb, high fiber fruits like guava, orange with pulp, strawberries, cherries, avocado, apple, or papaya, your blood sugar test shows elevated levels, there might be an issue. Blood sugar levels above 180 mgdl or 10 mlL, depending on your country's measurement, indicate poor diabetes control and require attention. You need to note this and talk to your doctor to reassess your treatment. It's not normal for your levels to spike above 180 or 10 mmol two hours after eating a guava. This is serious and shows your condition is uncontrolled. Got it? So, when I mention the best fruits, if they're raising your levels, be very cautious. Want to know more about fruits and diabetes? I've made a video listing the best and worst fruits. Some can raise blood sugar more, so diabetics need to be careful with them. They're not forbidden, but need more attention due to higher carbs and sugars. Click here for my video on the best and worst fruits for diabetics. Take care. See you next time.